off to the Chantry. And then I'll take a quick pit stop at home and recover. After nearly getting murdered by all this, I you think we deserve angry. a nap. And here I thought the Chantry was against mind reading. Did something happen to you in the circle? I understand there were problems in Ferelden. Are you saying a mage can only be unhappy in the circle if demons are involved? No. It's not about Aldred. It's not about being beaten or raped by a Templar. That does happen. But I've been fortunate. It's a larger principle. The freedom every man, woman and child born in Thedas have as a natural right. You were given to the circle. I was given to the Chantry. Hawk was driven away from home by the Darkspawn. None of us are free. Honestly, I prefer Anders' version. I like the idea of having some freedom. There are still many refugees. Now, Sebastian? I had hoped prayer might cleanse me of the desire demons touch. But I still hear her voice so clearly. I feel like I've bathed in filth that will never come off. You have what you need. The Harrimans won't stand against you. Will you ride back to Starkhaven now? I don't know. Flora said others are still vying for the title. I should find out who before I charge in blindly. In truth, I can't feel as righteous as I did before. I keep asking myself, do I want this because it's right? Or simply to have what I never thought I could? You never thought you could? Aren't you your parents' heir? I'm the youngest son of three. My parents were... rather traditional. They wanted the heir and the spare, and I was left in the cold. They put me in the Chantry to prevent my competing with my brothers. You didn't join by choice, I see. You seem very dedicated to the Chantry. You were put there against your will. At first. But it was the best thing that could have happened. I was a wild boy, a shame to my family. The Chantry made me a man. It's odd. When I wanted to rule, I would have been terrible at it. Now that I might be decent, I don't know if it's the right thing to do. You must take back your land. Don't let the demon make you doubt yourself. In trying to retake Starkhaven, I have already brought death to so many. Could I ever do enough good as prince to justify that? It's... You'd make a great prince. Well, actually, you can't make an omelet. Real princes don't worry about who they step on on their way to the top. I know you've done great things in Kirkwall, Hawk. I imagine your methods haven't always been scrupulous. But you clearly do more good than harm. I just don't know if I can follow that road. Hold on, do I have another one with you? Oh, the Starkhaven Longbow. I think this is yours. My grandfather's bow, but where did you get it? One of the Flint Company men did some looting. I figured I'd return the favor. Thank you. It's hard to mourn the loss of a thing while my family lies dead. But I did think of it. Is the bow special? What's the story behind that bow? As the youngest son, it was my place to lead Starkhaven's militia. But I never had a talent for swordplay. Too much getting hit. My grandfather said the bow is the wise man's weapon. You can defend your city without opening its gates. Grandfather said the day I could pull the string on his bow, it would be mine. So it's yours? Then why didn't you have it with you? I was 13 when my grandfather made me that promise. I would rise at dawn to practice my shots until I could hit the isolate of a helmet from the top of the ramparts. But my parents pledged me to the Chantry before I could show him. Tell me of him. Were you and your grandfather close? He was a man of the world, Prince of Starkhaven. But he had the most unshakable faith in the Maker. When my parents threatened to pledge me to the Chantry, he told me he'd gladly trade his title for a life of contemplation. The Maker ordained a place for each of us, I remember him saying. We have only to serve. Use it to avenge your family. 
Think of them with every arrow you fire to retake your land. Yes, this will be a fitting weapon to carry against the usurpers. Thank you for thinking of me, Hawk. No problem. Okay. I'm gonna head home quickly because everyone's injured. I understand you are of noble birth. My father was a chevalier. He had to flee Orlais when his patron was murdered. I'm sorry. I wouldn't have been suited for the life of an Orlesian noblewoman anyway. But surely you wish it had been different? To be a lady of Orlais and not a city guardsman? Not for one moment. I'd rather kill a bandit and save a merchant's family than know the correct dance steps and which rouge is in fashion. She has a good point. Oh, I have some letters. Maybe I have something about the chicken, the egg, and the scarecrow. I don't know what that even means. So, this is where you live. Not bad. I preferred the old place. It had, uh, more charm. You joking? You're talking about the shack I shared with my mother, uncle, and brother. I meant Lowtown. Dirty, chaotic, glorious Lowtown. The smell of tar, and the sea, and the sound of some whore plying her trade in a back alley. Oh. Don't you miss that? There's excitement right here. You can get your thrills in Hightown if you know where to look. Oh. And where would that be? Come with me. I can show you what I have in mind. I should go. That was an interesting diversion. You should stay. I don't want you wandering the streets alone at this hour. <laughs> You're sweet, but I can watch out for myself. Wait. You're not thinking of bringing feelings into this, are you? Of course not. No. This was just for fun. Good. Come see me at the tavern sometime. I know a cozy little nook behind the ale barrels. Memo to self. Use large amounts of spirit healing. Thing before I do anything else. Your hound is a mark of nobility in Ferelden, is he not? I have heard that gaining a Mabari's loyalty is considered the ultimate proof of character there. He's a great dog. That's him. My own living, breathing, slobbering status symbol. A dog cares nothing for worldly power. The Maker would like to see us learn from them. Go ask me to smell your ass. Don't let it go to your head. Let's order some potions. Ooh, some life ward potions. I can get some of these. A few of those. Got any decent amount of those. I need some more elf fruit ones. That should do. And let's see. These are, this is my rune order station. Writing desk. Thank you for helping my brother. Templates do what can, but it is what he wants. He's grateful. Of course. Thank you. I already read that. Read that, read that. I think some of these are just literally thank yous. Not bad, but still. Bodan? Quite a lovely estate you have here. Is it that right, Sam? Oh, I'm sorry I broke you. Uh, yes. I just oh, don't want to know. Safer for everyone. Okay. You. 
You and you. The long road or mirror image. I have a bad feeling within every fiber of my being this is really not gonna go well. Let's see. Meryl? I've got something to show you. Come and see. It's beautiful, isn't it? Not as pretty as you are. You're much prettier. I'm sure you say that to Eric at least once a day. Twice, usually. But can you blame him? Nobody can resist this face. I've spent the last few years restoring this. One of my clan found it in the Brazilian forest, we think. Poor Tamlin. We never found him. Just the shattered pieces of the Alluvion. Why did you bring it here? What are you trying to do with this mirror? At first, I just wanted to find Tamlin. But... It's been too long. Tamlin is probably dead by now. If he wasn't already. But still, I know it can help my people. I can at least recover this one small part of our heritage. Is this why you left? This thing is what made the Keeper send you away, isn't it? The Keeper wanted me to destroy the fragment I kept. She said our ancestors meant it to be forgotten. But it's a Keeper's place to remember. Even the dangerous things. We argued. I... left. She's wrong. This mirror could teach us so much about who we once were. The mirror killed someone. Do you think the mirror had something to do with Tamlin's disappearance? The ruin we tracked Tamlin to was full of traps and monstrous things. But we found no body. His trail ended at the broken pieces of Alluvion. Alluvion? What's an Alluvion? Long ago, the elves had a kingdom. An empire that covered Thedas. And every city had an Alluvion. The mirrors let them communicate across their empire. But I don't know how exactly. My people have lost so much. We know almost nothing of the days before Arlathon. This is a piece of our history. Are you crazy? This thing may have killed someone and you brought it here. It's not dangerous, I promise. I fixed it, or, or tried to, with blood magic. The mirror won't hurt anyone. I cringe every time she says that. She has no idea what she's messing with. I do. I have it totally under control. But it doesn't work. I've tried everything, and I think it's because it needs to be finished with a special tool. And a rule in home. And my clan has one. It's been in their hands for generations. <sighs> There's always a catch. I hear a butt coming. I can't go back there alone. You have no idea, the Keeper. I, I can't talk to her. We fight or, or talk circles around each other. She has a disappointed frown that turns your bones to jelly. Please help me. You will, won't you? Honestly, how to word this? No. I'm not helping you fix a mirror that kills people. It doesn't. I guess it was foolish of me to ask. I'll just have to find another way. Let's see, you've improved by the looks of things. That's good. Bring up her constitution a little. Abilities. Let's see, that works well against staggered or disoriented. 
Let's just learn how to petrify them for you. By the dread wolf! Why is my house always such a mess when people are here? It's clean sometimes, I swear. Okay, let's continue this. In this case, let's see. I really don't like leaving Varric behind, but out of the choices, I think it gets smartest. Okay, from here. Let's go to Sunder Mount. I've got to go to bed. You're incredibly talented, Meryl. I can see you were meant for great things. Thank you. But you're stupid. I'm sorry, what? Don't you think it would be better to work on where you are now? Instead of recreating old glory. No, no, that's kind of the opposite of what I've been saying. I'm the stupid one. <clears throat> Whatever. Wow. I hate to say this, but this is definitely one of those times Avalid is 900% correct. If you walk the paths of Sundermount, walk softly. Something out there hungers for the unwary. Keeper? Keeper, you return to us, darling. Have you reconsidered this path at last? I... Let's see. Well, this is awkward. Hello again, Keeper. Don't you look lovely? My apologies, Hawk. Be welcome among the Dalish. Keeper, I need the Arulin home, the ancient carving blade that Master Island keeps. I see. You wish to rebuild the Alluvian. You don't have to approve of it. I'm invoking Via Sulavanan. I'll do whatever task you wish. Well, I'm glad to know I can still disapprove. It is your right. I will give you a service to perform if you insist. What's going on? What did Merrill invoke? Our history belongs to all Dalish child. So our clan's most cherished relics can be claimed by everyone. Any Dalish can perform a service for the clan and gain ownership of such an item. For a time. That is what Merrill has invoked. Even if she has chosen to live apart, she is still one of the people. So, what is this thing you just said? What exactly is this thing we're asking for? It is an ancient carving tool, used by our wood shapers, passed down for countless generations. Our clan has carried it since before the fall of the Dales. It is as old as Arlathan itself. Speak less elven, please. It's a lot to ask. But could you two try to be less elfy for the sake of the human present? We are what we are, child. But I'll try to speak more of the common tongue. Thank you. Avar Terrell has taken the lives of three of our hunters. It lairs in a cavern in the mountainside. Seek it out. Slay it. No one else must fall to its anger. Do this for us. And I will give you the Arulin home. May the Dread Wolf never catch your scent. Andarana to Shanhawk. Whoops. Let's see. Mark is the active. Okay, I'm definitely going to explore up the mountain later. But first, let's see if you have any potions I can buy just for safety. Oh yeah, I also want to sell some junk. Like now that you reminded me. Dalish craft. Okay. Well then, let's see. This or this? I'm going to the crook. 
That'll be an improvement for you. Ornate ring. That ought to work. Oh, I have two of her things. Is that the carved iron wood button? I don't know. None, I assure you. The cave must be near camp. The keeper would just warn the hunters away otherwise. I'll go to that recently open passage later. feeling I'm going to die. This is just based on probability, so I'm probably going to be wrong. So first, oh, let's look over here. I hate spiders. Rada. One moment to breathe and then freaking blow up the spiders. I'm pretty much using all the fire I can to murder these things. Take a swig of not L fruit potion. Uh, take a swig of the regular stuff for now. This is my favorite part. You're focusing on that one, so be smart. <laughs> I don't have much left in me. I'm losing my focus. Okay, Evelyn, go after this one. I'm losing my focus. Oh crap. What do you Bug. want? Freaking hell, let's just start again. They are really enjoying this frustration. Might need a few makers size for everyone. First thing before that, trigger this. Check this. And 
Aveline, you go first this time. Spiders with a passion. Should have looked what I got, but eh. At least I've cleared out my inventory a bit. I'll get into a better de I'll get into it in better detail in a little while. Her amulet. Rada. Valondine guide you, Lethalan. What were the hunters doing in here? The Keeper would have sent them to recover elven artifacts from the Barterol before the camp had to move in again. So your Keeper sent them to their deaths? No. Normally they let the Dalish come and go as we please. Something must have provoked it. Like blood magic? Please, no more spiders. No more spiders. The Dalish longbow and his amulet. Why did this happen? Oh, Harshal, I am so sorry. I'll tell Inuria for you. At least she still does have respect for the dead. I'm very critical of her only because of the Oh god, I gave it more spiders. Why do I always get that? Meryl, let's move you back.
Okay, let's get this Ori Cow come. Nothing to get up there. Glitter dust. I can't do that. Standard. Didn't even bring a rogue. Really missing out on some good stuff because of that. But I need Anders. He's the only other one who I know who can heal. And that's key. Let's take a moment to rest up, team. We all need it.